You have just completed a session and noticed there is vaccine remaining in several of your multi-dose vials. Do you keep them for future sessions or toss them? How you make this decision will affect vaccine wastage rates and vaccine safety, so it is important that you make the right choice for each multi-dose vial. In this video, we will review the WHO Multi-Dose Vial Policy, or MDVP, and how this policy affects decisions about whether to keep and when to use opened multi-dose vials. Based on the MDVP, opened multi-dose vials of vaccines fall into two categories. Some vaccines should be discarded at the end of the immunization session or within six hours of opening, whichever comes first. This applies to all reconstituted lyophilized vaccines and liquid vaccines that do not contain preservatives. But some multi-dose vials of liquid vaccines can be kept and used for up to 28 days after opening. For an opened vaccine vial to be kept and used for up to 28 days after opening, it must meet four criteria. Let us review these four criteria. First, the vaccine must be currently pre-qualified by WHO. Vaccines that are pre-qualified by WHO have been independently evaluated for their quality, safety and efficacy and much more. You can find a list of WHO pre-qualified vaccines online. The second criterion is that the vaccine must be WHO approved for use for up to 28 days after opening the vial. To find out if a vaccine is pre-qualified, look at the vaccine's package insert. You can also visit the vaccine product page on the WHO website for pre-qualified vaccines. Look at the section on handling of opened multi-dose vials to see whether WHO has approved the vaccine product from this particular manufacturer as a multi-dose vaccine vial or not. Make sure you check the vaccine product page for the correct manufacturer, as pre-qualification may vary product by product. The third criterion is that the expiry date of the vaccine must not have passed. You can find the expiry date on the label. Be sure to check the expiry date of an opened vaccine vial every time before using it. This is important because sometimes during the 28 days that a multi-dose vial is being kept, the vial may reach its expiry date. The fourth criterion is that the vaccine vial must have been and must continue to be stored at WHO or manufacturer recommended temperatures. That means vaccines should be stored at a temperature between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius and should be protected from freezing and sunlight where relevant. Why? Because excessive heat exposure and freezing can damage vaccines and they can become less effective. If you suspect a vaccine was exposed to freezing temperatures, perform the shake test to assess if there has been damage. One way to check a vaccine for excessive heat exposure is the vaccine vial monitor or VVM. But the VVM can also serve as a visual trigger to help apply the multi-dose vial policy to any vaccine, as long as that vaccine is pre-qualified by WHO. Here's how it works. If a VVM is attached to the vial, its position on the vial indicates whether the vaccine vial can be kept for up to 28 days. If the vaccine has a VVM on the label, that means the vial, once opened, can be kept for subsequent immunization sessions for up to 28 days. Do remember to write the date you open the vial on the label. If the VVM is located somewhere else, for example, if it's on the cap of the vial or neck of the ampule, that means the vial, once opened, must be discarded at the end of the immunization session or within six hours of opening, whichever comes first. Think about when you will apply the MDVP. When closing a session, use the policy to determine whether to discard or keep the multi-dose vaccine vials. When storing vaccines after a session, place all opened multi-dose vials that can be kept in a basket labeled, opened vials, use first. 
And when selecting vials for a session, choose vials from this basket first, making sure to check their VVMs and expiry date before use. You should now have a better understanding of how to apply the multi-dose vial policy. By properly applying the policy, you can help decrease vaccine wastage and ensure patient safety.